Vlogmas Day 10. Let's do this. So I've already been up and I've got the house straight, got a load of clothes in the dryer, a load of clothes in the washer, had my coffee, got my face on, fixed my hair, and haven't got dressed yet, but I'm gonna be getting dressed and my mom's gonna be coming over and we're gonna be making curtains. And I wanted to remind y'all of the fabric that I got. And y'all, I thought I had made, I thought I had paid like $2.99 for this, but I only paid $1.99 for this at the thrift store. But it's this beautiful chicken fabric. And um, yeah, I'd only paid $1.99. I was like, wow, I did better than I thought. Um, so we are going to have to go to Hobby Lobby or Joann's and look for a couple things we need for it. But y'all, she's having to go to the hair salon that I was at yesterday because I left my purse. I'm like, really? Yeah, I left my purse there and, um, thank God I didn't need gas on the way home. But, um, so she's meeting the salon owner. And gonna pick up my purse and bring it to me and then we're gonna get started so we're also gonna make magic bars today which is my favorite holiday christmas uh, treat that she makes like i said she's made it as long as i can remember so um, we're gonna do that too so it should be a fun day and buster's over there sleeping in the recliner all snug and cozy by the christmas tree and yeah, so when she gets here, we will get this ball rolling. So I ain't even gonna apologize for having this flannel on again. I told y'all when I bought it, y'all was gonna be seeing it a lot. So anyway, <laughs> so I wanted to show y'all what I did with the dipper that I got yesterday that belonged to my great grandmother. I wanted to display it, but I really didn't know where and then I had an idea come to me last night and I actually like it. So I'm gonna show y'all what I do with it and you can let me know if you think it's cute. So let me turn the camera around. So this is where I put the dipper and I just put some little holiday goodies in there. Some little pine, some red berries. And that's where I put that. What do y'all think? I think it's so cute. It just kind of gives it a little something and you can see it when you walk in and it kind of goes with all the stuff I have in here so that's where i put that and i really like it i did have a question that uh asked if i was going to use the wooden spoons and all that stuff or do i just use them for display no i actually use them i have them in my crock over there by my stove and i use all that so if it's things that i can use that you know i will use them because i mean I understand some things you don't want to use, but those, I definitely will use them. And then one of y'all told me um, that next year I should do like a little tree and put my cookie cutters on my tree in the kitchen. And I thought that was such a good idea. So I may do that. Like I may move the garbage can next year that's right here in front of this window and just put me a, a little slim tree right there and put the cookie cutters on it. Or I could even put it over there on that little tree that has the crop. So. I could even so. put them on that tree. And I think that would be a cute idea. And I may do that next year for sure. That was a really good idea. So thank y'all for all the suggestions. I love it. I am going to, my nose is itching, sorry. I am going to get a picture of Granny and put underneath that recipe. I'm definitely gonna do that. The more I think about it, the more I like that idea. And um, I actually have some really good pictures of her actually cooking that I may get printed off in like a black and white. I think that would be cool. And um, put that over there, just a little wallet size photo. So and maybe even a couple of them and just kind of like put them in there. Um, so I'm definitely gonna do that. Y'all like that idea. And the more I think about it, the more, yeah, I'm definitely gonna do that. So I just gotta pick out the ones that I like the most to get them printed off and, uh, do that so when I do that and update that I will show y'all that but um y'all she's looking forward to next Thursday and so am I I'm so excited to go up there and cook with her and I've gotten several like new subscribers that maybe y'all haven't 
been introduced to Granny, that y'all be meeting for the first time, and y'all are in for a treat. She's a mess, and she's just your typical little old Southern grandma, and she's everybody's granny, and she's just sassy, and she's a mess. So y'all are in for a treat when y'all get to meet her. Um, but I was looking at her yesterday, and she has shrunk so much. She's just a little, she's just so tiny now. She's just so little. Uh, she has really, she's shrunk a lot. I remember growing up, I just thought she was just, you know, this powerhouse of a woman, which she was, but then to see her now, it's just, oh, she's just a mess. So anyway, that's coming up and I'm, I'm, I don't know who's more excited, me or her. So we'll see. We'll see. Me and her might be in competition over that. So anyway, I'm just waiting on my mama. She should be here in about an hour or so. And uh, so I just been cuddling up with Buster. Y'all, he's so cute. I'm gonna insert a picture of, I took of him a while ago. He was like laid up on the pillow in the recliner, all cozy with a blanket by the Christmas tree. So precious. So I just love him. We in the car. He's got his mom on, but he's leaning on his mama. Look at that. He's so precious. He's so sweet. I love you so much. So we are headed to Hobby Lobby to check out what we need for the curtains and the mama's gonna get back and you know she gotta get busy that's all there is to it she got to get to work i don't get her down here because i enjoy her company that's not the case oh the feeling i need her to do stuff the feeling of being abused <laughs> she's so abused can you tell <laughs> the master is at work she got that's the right. soldier she got the sewing machine we got the ironing board went to hobby lobby and picked up this gorgeous Friend. This beautiful friend. Oh, it's gonna go on the curtains. <gasps> Look at that. I think the girl overcharged me off, but anyway. I think you need to check that. It. it is what it is. So and oh let me show y'all the I did get some pictures printed out of Granny and I've already got one over there. I thought it would hold two, but it only ended up holding one. So what is that? It was <laughs> the best. It was a hard decision on which one to use, but I'm gonna get some little frames and I'll probably put one over there somewhere. You might have known. Yeah, so let me show y'all real quick. Look. Oh, isn't that so cute? Doing what she does. Okay, so now I gotta feed the woman. So let me get to cooking, get her some food cooked, and Make sure she don't slack up. I mean, she's on the clock, y'all. She's on the clock. You gotta keep it cool, too. What? It's hot in here. You gotta keep it cool. <laughs> Turn it fire off. <laughs> already had your treat when we got home. You're good. <laughs> look at the camera. You've already had it. No. No. Mama will feed you some of her stuff in just a minute when we get it cooked. You gotta make up with Mama. Okay, this is gonna work great. <laughs> I told you it would. You don't have no faith in me, do you? Yeah, I do. I told you it was the right length and everything. Why didn't you believe me, Dad? Donna, I raised you. <laughs> Remember that. <laughs> Remember that, Dad. <laughs> when you get aggravated at me and I do stupid stuff, remember you raised me. Yes. Okay. Lord, I really need your assistance. Oh, we're praying over the curtains, y'all. Do we need? Do I need to get the oil out? They, get the oil. hey, they know I will anoint. Stuff. Get the oil, baby. Get the oil. It's Can been you... seven hours and fifteen days, and she still ain't finished, y'all. I don't know. I think she just wants to say how long I'll stay to see how much I'll feed her and if I will feed her. You gotta work for your labor, okay? 
<laughs> no. This is hard labor right here, okay? I'm understanding them people that. I can't say nothing because I've made curtains before, but I don't. It's been so long. I mean, I probably could have done this. Well, it's just when I did it, we did this and saved your mother from having great hair. Highlights. Yes, wisdom. Your wisdom is shining. Boy, it's shining and getting better every day. <laughs> what? <laughs> that material's tough, but what kind of needle you got in there? A tough needle. <laughs> I like tough. <laughs> Don't do that, I can mess it up because you got me on video. Never mind, I'm fine now. Y'all, I just wanted to tell y'all, I know that she's doing the sewing part, but your girl here, me, I'm doing the most important part. And that is ironing and applying steam. So, if they turn out wonderful, it's all due to my fabulous ironing. And if they don't turn out wonderful, it's all due to her crappy sewing. <laughs> okay, my mama just left because the weather was getting really bad. So we did not get to do the magic bars today because it started raining and getting real nasty. And I was worried about it getting too foggy and her driving in the fog. So we're gonna do them next week. So we're still gonna make them. We just didn't get them done today because we end up having to run to Hobby Lobby to get a few things and then making the curtains and just, she didn't get here till a little bit later. She had some stuff to do. She had to wait and get my purse for one thing, but we did get the curtains made. They are hung up and I love them. And I'm fixing to turn the camera around and show you and you'll have to let me know what you think. But let me turn it around and I'll let you see what it looks Real like. Real quick disclaimer. We are not professional seamstress. We just know how to do what we do. So if you're a professional seamstress and it's not up to par for you, I'm sorry. Just, I love it. I think they look great. And um, considering we had just enough fabric, y'all, we wasted zero fabric. We used every bit of the fabric. So let me show you what it looks like. Ta-da! I love them. They look so good. I'm so happy with them. And it just really ties in all the black and the chickens and the fringe. Let me close the blind. I think she did a great job. Now I did try to iron out the seam. I couldn't get it out, but I'm just gonna let them kind of relax and see if they will, it'll kind of you know, they'll hang and relax and kind of do their deal. But I love them. And how perfect does it go with the wall? It just, I love them. So that's what they look like. Yes, we made this one a little bit shorter than this one because it's a little bit smaller, more narrow window. And I like the way that that looks better, but it's still the same fabric. You know what I mean? Same style, same fringe. So, yep, that's what it looks like. We have had the most fun today. We have laughed. We have cut up. We have reminisced. And it was just a good day. And for y'all that are new here, I think about, may have been January or February of last year, I kind of told y'all the story, give y'all a little, kind of like a testimony of where God has brought me from. And I told y'all that me and my mom for years, and a large part of my family for years, we didn't speak. We didn't see each other um, for years. And through much prayer and fasting, God restored and made better. And we, although those times were painful, today we were talking about how we were so we appreciated those years because we learned so much and that's how God works. Like he will take your pain and you will learn from that. And, um, so today was really special cause we really reminisced about where we've come from and, and mine, just in mind and her relationship. Um, because there was, 
there was so many times that I would see her in town and we lived in a very small town and I would see her in town and I would just go the other direction. I didn't want to see her. I didn't want to hear her. I didn't want to speak to her. I didn't want to think about her. Nothing. And um, to this day, I can't even tell you what it was about. I can just tell you that God restores. So keep the faith. Keep praying. And we are, today is an answered prayer. And God restores. So just keep your faith. Just keep your faith and keep praying. But it was a really good day. We had so much fun. But let me just tell y'all, we went to Joanne's first because we were thinking maybe Joanne's would have that fabric. We were, my mom was just thinking that we was going to need more fabric. And I kept telling her, we're not. It's the it's perfect. It's the right amount. Um, And then we looked at the fringe. And when I saw how much they wanted for the fringe, they wanted like $27.99 a yard for basically the exact same fringe that I bought today at Hobby Lobby for eight ninety nine dollars a yard, and I got it 50% off. And I did look at my receipt, and they did charge me right. So uh, before I said I thought they overcharged me, but they did not. Um, yeah, I mean, I got three and a half yards cheaper than I would have gotten just one yard at Joann's. But... You know, you kind of have to know your prices. So we we left there and went to Hobby Lobby and then we needed some thread. And my mom was like, no, Walmart, you need to get your thread from Walmart. First of all, she had never worked with the Hobby Lobby thread, so she wasn't really sure. And it was like two and three times higher than the thread was at Walmart. So you just kind of have to shop around. So in total, if you count the fabric, the thread that I bought, and the fringe that I bought, I have about $20 in those two balances. I know. And, of course, we're not counting labor because <laughs> I fed her. <laughs> no, but, um, yeah, about $20. And, y'all, um, check your thrift stores, too, because they have fringe. And I had been checking at the thrift store, but they didn't ever have the right color that I needed. Um, so, yeah. Just, I mean, my thrifted slash Hobby Lobby curtains. <laughs> custom made. I should just say they're custom curtains. Custom balances. I'll be all bougie like that. Like, yeah, they're custom. <laughs> all right, so I'm waiting on James to get home. He should be here pretty soon. And then I got to figure out what he wants to do for dinner. I'm honestly stuffed, y'all. I've eaten so much candy. I gotta quit and then we ate like um some roti she had brought a rotisserie and i made us some crescent rolls and we eat some rotisserie chicken and crescent rolls for lunch and that's really all the solid food the good food that i've had today the rest of it's just been candy <sighs> i know i know i know i'm really talking to the lord about the sweet tooth i have i'm like lord you created me and in your sight i'm perfect the way that you've created me but we really need to discuss the sweet tooth you've given me. <laughs> I need that sucker extracted. <laughs> but anyway, I'm just kidding. Um, not really, but I am. Not really. <laughs> now I'm just being silly. Okay, I'm waiting for him to get here, and I will touch base with y'all in a little bit. But I just had to show you my curtains. Uh, excuse me, my custom allowances. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> Are you over this week? It is colder than the North Pole in here. Because <laughs> my mother was here today. Oh, gosh. First time I ever seen icicles on the inside of a house when I come in. <laughs> Sorry, I turned it up. She was burning up today. Everybody knows you're a teddy bear, James. You might as well quit acting so tough. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's going to do it for me today. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all see all the stuff I've got, I'm actually meeting somebody tomorrow to buy some of that. Um, and then I still have a pile over here to sell, but I did sell some stuff today on Marketplace. And my pile is dwindling down. I'm so happy. But um, hope y'all enjoyed. Um, hope you had some fun just hanging out with me and my mom. We had a good time. Poor James. It's not feeling well today. So, 
I'm going to go in there and give him a little TLC, take care of him, and hope he feels better tomorrow because he really needs to get his home tour part finished, filmed, started. I'm hoping to have my home tour up Sunday. Um, it was going to go up Sunday whether he does his part or not. I may just have to just do it without him, but I've got my part done, almost finished, but I'm just waiting on his part so I can add it in and then I got to do the intro and outro but hopefully he'll get his part filmed and I can get it all edited and uploaded for Sunday so that's the game plan I hope y'all have a great day and until next time bye y'all